I'm sitting in a Porsche Panamera. This is a unique vehicle that combines the sports heritage of Porsche with the convenience and comfort of a four-door sedan. So let's take it for a bit of a drive on the road and uh, I'll give you my thoughts as we go along. The first thing that really strikes you about this car is how fantastic it looks from the outside. It is really stunning in the flesh. It's, it's hard to convey on video, but, but in, in the flesh it is absolutely stunning to look at. I think it's the combination of the white paintwork, um, the black interior, the 911 style wheels, um, the red calipers, it's it's just looks amazing and the uh, the effect continues on inside in the cabin it's it is just a heavenly place to be um, the quality is sublime really is no expense spared it's a base model Panamera from 2015 um, but it is very highly optioned it's got side skirts it's got a sports exhaust system um, it has a sport design rear apron, um, tinted LED tail lights, adaptive air suspension um, which allows the car to rise up or um, sit a bit lower when um, you change into sports mode. Um, it has 20 inch um, 911 style wheels, reversing camera with park assist all round. Um, it has the sports chrono package which is a nice little analog um, timer on the dash there um, for lap timing, digital radio, which is really useful, and it has a full carbon interior package um, along the door trims, around the dash, and in the center console, and also in the rear seats as well. This has a uh, 3.6 liter V6 up front. Um, revs to six and a half thousand rpm has a very nice exhaust note when those bypass valves are open and i don't think you're losing too much by not having the v8 um, the v6 has got amazing performance i'll put the figures up on the screen um, but yeah very very impressive If you want a car that can ferry the kids to and from school, you can take grandma to the IGA, but at the same time you want to have that performance that only Porsche can deliver, then the Panamera is the car for you. I'm going to put the sports mode on now, um, sports plus, and immediately it changes up, keeps those revs higher. Ooh, <laughs> I, think I'll, I think I'll drive it in manual, then I've got a bit more control over the revs. And those changes really are brutally fast. And with the sports exhaust, it gives a real feeling of performance turns it into a, a four-door, four-seat 911. But press the button again, the suspension softens off, the exhaust valves close, everything becomes much more gentle and it's a very, very relaxed long-distance cruiser. Lots of room in the back, very comfortable in the rear, two full-size adults. Um, plenty of luggage space under the hatchback, powered hatchback. I'll just show you this Chrono Sport pack. Just use this wheel to get to the Sport Chrono screen on the infotainment display here. Click, and then when we click start, you'll see the needle flick back to zero and start timing. Kind of a nice touch. And you've got a repeat of the display here 
but I think it's nice to have the old analog style display there, it just gives it a bit of a nod to the old racing heritage. So after you've taken Granny to the IGA, you can go for a few laps around Eastern Creek with Granny, perhaps, who knows, and the kids. Steering is light and precise, very good feedback, feels absolutely stable on long straights, cruising and um, also driving a bit more aggressively in those um, country roads. Sunroof as well, tilt and slide sunroof with the um, sunshade. Get all the benefits of a Porsche but in a very practical package. Transporting four adults and a good quantity of luggage in absolute luxury and comfort. But I love this gearbox. It is really very impressive. Porsche haven't made any compromises in their design. They know that the, their drivers will want a sports car that feels like a Porsche and they're certainly not going to make any compromises um, when, they, when they come to make a, a four-door sedan and that's obvious in the design and the performance.